What's going on everyone, it's Cruise Control here and I'm super, super excited to share with you all my recap for 2022. So boom, January, I started off the new year, right, with the Greater Island Cathedral. I did media and mixing work for them throughout the course of the year. And for a short period of time, I did media and mixing work for the Live Chapel based out of Queens. All things new, I dropped this record. I produced, mixed, and mastered with Ruby Bias. It's still available right now on all digital platforms. I did a lot of traveling with my pastor this year. He went to New Jersey, Orlando, San Jose, had the privilege of meeting Pastor Ron and Hope Carpenter, attended her tea party. That was an awesome event. Almost fell on stage in those heels, but we got through it. We, then we went to Houston, and as you can see, I'm boom right there on stage. That was an awesome experience. Did more ministry work back in New York. Next, I was the music director for Apostle Allen's birthday banquet held at the Coral House in Baldwin, New York. And this assignment was really cool because I got to rock out with my Ephesus crew, some of my favorite musicians that I grew up playing with. And boom, I had to slay the night away for Overseer Yard for her birthday. That was an awesome occasion I got to participate in. Wow, that was Reverend Al Sharpton. I got to mix his audio over the broadcast at my job. February 28th, feeling great. This was a good birthday. I got to spend it with my family. Got Cheesecake Factory food, one of my favorite places. Then the devil tried to take my thumb out the next day, but that was okay. Went to a great women's conference at In The Word Ministries. Shout out to Tanisha Lewis for the call. Great experience. Then I had the privilege of being the music director for Women's Day over at Monk's Memorial in Brooklyn, New York. I put together an all-female band for this occasion. Shout out to Destiny Christine and Quinice, who was on drums. We rocked out all the way this day. Then I joined forces with Arms Entertainment. As you can see, that's L Butler there. We were on the Brooklyn Bridge, freezing our behinds off, but we got the job done. You could check out that video on YouTube. It's called Matters of the Heart. Then during this time, I migrated to Manhattan, New York to work over at Timeless Studios, which I've been working with for the last six or seven years. They migrated to their new home, our new home in Manhattan, New York. And the studio was founded by Stanley Brown, who was an awesome pioneer producer in the music industry. March. What happened in March? I did more traveling with my pastor. This event was in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Did more work with Arms Entertainment. Shout out to Destiny Christine. This was a collaboration between L Butler and Destiny Christine. And this was cool because not only did I get to shoot it, I got to play and do the production for this live arrangement too. April. More work with Arms Entertainment. We did a Seven Last Sayings cipher. This was so cool because we wrapped the Seven Last Sayings of Jesus Christ. Got to DJ it, do media work for it, promo. Shout out to Praise Your Way because they powered this presentation. Presentation. You can find this online too. Then attended another ministry assignment with my pastor. This was a Tabernacle of Testimony out in Brooklyn, where Reverend Curtis Bradley is the pastor. Look what we have here. I got to attend a concert at the Prudential Center with a good friend of mine. This was my first time seeing a concert at the Prudential Center, let alone seeing Jodeci, New Edition, Charlie Wilson, and others. It was super dope. Oh, there goes my brother Joshua. Still made time this month during spring break to take my siblings out to Sky Zone. May. What happened in May? More work with Arms Entertainment. They had me busy this year, guys. I did an EPK shoot for Jason Hendrickson. Then I got to attend an Afrobeat festival supporting Joe and D Flat. They were awesome, awesome musicians. They had us rocking the whole night. They gave me the best seat in the house. Lady Rachel, me and my artist Serena Tyson got to attend her birthday celebration, ministering out through song. I got to bring my former student Delano Shelton Jr. with me. That was cool. Kingdom Call. It was great working with them this year. Kingdom Call is a choir founded by Pastor Donnie McClurkin. I did video work and media work for them. As you can see there, I'm at Platinum Studios with Coca. Been working with her really since college. She signed to One the Music and her project Life of the Party came out this year. Had a few production placements on that and other various projects that I've come out is awesome working with her out with the old and in with the new got a new car i'm super grateful to god for that achievement june father's day concert we did a father's day memorial concert for the late bishop r R. williams that was a high time indeed then we went to many mobley's worship through the arts with my artist serena tyson i had the privilege of playing for bishop malachi's induction then later that month i played drums for dunamis deliverance discipleship ministries out in the bronx and this was pretty cool because this was my first time playing in the balcony for our service and that was pretty dope then more ministry assignments with my pastor we did the loud conference it was a women's conference that was a high time then we did a revival at new greater bethel ministries we were supposed to come for one night then they had us come for two more nights and every night we just took it up higher and higher july i went to la guys i was in the hollywood walk of fame shout out to stanley brown for this opportunity i got to work with major eric billinger and i got to see some family while i was out there too hey cuzzo 
And when I got back home, I did a ministry assignment at Rikers Island. We got to minister to the young men there, and that was super dope. Thank you, Regina Miller, for the call. Israel came to the Greater Island Cathedral. I did tracking work up in the balcony there. Then I had the privilege of playing for my Aunt Pearl's initial sermon. That was really cool. More ministry work with Pastor Jerry. This was crazy because that service was at 4 a.m. And then right at 10 a.m. I had a prayer service to attend at my job. Face was beat still. <laughs> Then I attended an installation of the new pastors, pastors Timony and Eric Figueroa. That was a really sacred occasion. Still making time for my siblings. We went to Dave and Buster's at the end of the month. August, I played for the mayor of Hempstead. This was nerve wracking because that was so unexpected. He just got on stage and started singing right before my artist Serena Tyson went up. But hey, I got through it and I believe I did okay play for another installation service the newly installed pastor of lighthouse ministries pastor magali charles next my artist Rena tyson ministered through song at pastor donnie mcclurkin's church without walls and it was cool because at the end he had her husband my other artist joshua tyson pray in front of the whole community for the men houston texas we are back again bring back the glory with my pastor prophet is jerry robinson Man, David and Nicole Binion were there, Dr. Winita Bynum, Ryan Lestrange, Bishop Denanoth, a lot of people were here, and I got to music direct the whole thing, and that was really, that was like my first time doing a major conference like that out of state. September kicked the month off with my little sister. I promised at the end of the summer to take her to the aquarium. We had a really great time. Destiny Christine, I shot this music video for her record that came out this summer called Come Through. Not only did I shoot it, I produced it, I mixed and I mastered it, and it's an Afrobeat. Shout out to Showtime Brando for popping in. It was a really cool song. You can find that song still available now on YouTube. It's called Come Through by Destiny Christine. Next, it was an honor and a privilege to play and support this awesome occasion for my artists, the new pastors, Joshua and Serena Tyson, for their installation service. And guess what, guys? I still made time for me. I went on vacation by myself to Atlantic City, saw some celebrities, attended a few comedy shows, and just pampered myself a little bit then right off vacation got right back to work i shot a sweet 16 shout out to eclipse entertainment for the call that was at bisu and that was a really cool time i shot video did a whole video and a trailer for the sweet 16 party guys this was a really big accomplishment for me this year i got co-production credit and some tracking mixing credit on this project td jakes finally loose Shout out to Stanley Brown for this opportunity. There were so many people, great people, a part of this work. Miranda Curtis, Bettina Pennon, Jessica Reedy, Tamar Braxton, even producers Timberland, and so many others. October. So let's rewind for a second here. Remember that video I shot in the Brooklyn Bridge with Elle Butler? We were freezing our behinds off. Well, hard work pays off because we got accepted for a Pearl Award for Video of the Year. You never know who's watching, guys. Then I had the privilege of attending a private premiere of a short film called AJ Story. I don't know if you remember the five heartbeats, but that's Leon Robinson, and he directed this awesome short film. Shout out to Stanley Brown and Timeless Music Studios, because one of our music numbers was featured in this short film. Pretty cool. I had something to do with that as well. November, we're almost at the end of the year. I've worked with the Christopher Williams, like, wow. Most of you know him for his single that came out in the 90s, Dreamin', or also from New Jack City. Like, wow, I still can't believe that happened. Then my artist, Serena Tyson, we opened up for Jonathan Nelson. That was super cool. That was held at Malloy College at the Madison Theater. It was a really great night. Then I got to minister out on the organ with my first home church, Ephesus, and we all fellowshiped together with New Bethel out in Belfast. Port, New York, where Bishop Bullock is the pastor. December, we're finally here at the end of the year. I worked with Miles Caton in the studio. This was pretty cool. He's an awesome, awesome singer, songwriter, and aspiring producer. And it was cool because he was producing me, telling me what to do in the studio, what to what notes to hit, and it was really cool working with him. I flew back out to Houston. This was my third time coming out to Houston this year, and this was a cool experience because I got to meet an actual supporter of mine. He had discovered me on Instagram about seven or eight years ago through an Instagram ad that I had. So I posted that first picture, boom. He 
he saw on Facebook, said I'm in Houston too. So I'm like, yo, meet me at the nearest guitar center in the area so we could chop it up, shred, and trade musical ideas. That was really dope. Candlelight 2022, it's here. I've been working with this production, this Christmas production with the Greater Island Cathedral in New York for the last three years, doing video, editing, and mixing work on it. And this year, I got to do all the above, plus direct the show. So this is my first year being director and it's an honor and a privilege to be in this position and if you guys haven't seen it you can catch it on youtube on their youtube page the greater island cathedral of new york so there you have it that's my 2022 recap i'm sure there's a lot of other things that i wasn't able to include in this video i wanted to keep it under 10 minutes so thank you guys so much for watching and continue to cruise with me cruise control as we enter 2023 i'm so excited for what god has in store